Is HBAR a buy or a sell right now? There is a specific chart that is flashing a strong signal for HBAR. And if it plays out, the move could be potentially massive or potentially catastrophic. Projects such as Solana, Avalanche, and Tonecoin have seen huge rallies while HBAR has been quiet. Is it time to cut your losses and move on or double down and be part of a historic rally? I'll be making a case for both sides and answering that question in this video with facts and stats, and I'll be giving a price prediction towards the end as well. As you can see here on your screen earlier was the Hedera one-day chart from Bybit. You can see Hedera has been in this uh, symmetrical triangle, and we're getting to the very end of it. So we're going to see a rally here one way or another, uh, but there is one chart which I'm going to show you here in a second. But first, I want to show you just how tight this range is getting. You can see these Bollinger Bands are starting to constrict. So think of this like a slingshot. Right, the the longer you pull it back and hold it back, the bigger the move is going to be. We just got to figure out is the move going to be to the upside or is the move going to be to the downside, and that is what we're going to talk about in this video. I want to talk about this chart here, right? So when we talk about investing in crypto, it's always like, hey, if you cannot outperform Bitcoin, then just put it in Bitcoin. It's got the it's got the most longevity. It's the safest. It's the most decentralized. It's got the most liquidity. Got the most wallets. So we take a look at something like Ethereum, right? The top altcoin in our space. Ethereum has been in a downtrend against Bitcoin since September of 2022. Uh, it did bottom out at a key level here, a level going all the way back to February of 2021 and also April of 2021. A couple times in this range, a price has reacted positively for Ethereum against Bitcoin. And this is the price action that we're currently seeing right now. We flipped uh, we flipped this trend line. We are currently retesting it as support. And if a support does hold, we should expect a big rally from Ethereum against Bitcoin. Now, let's do the same thing for Hedera. Though this is the chart that is flashing that signal, which I'll go over in depth a little more later in the video. But I do want to talk about, I do want to talk about, you know, making the case for, hey, is Hedera a buy now? Let's talk about that scenario, right? So we take a look at what is happening in the ecosystem. What are they doing? This is from uh, MinaFN.com. The Hashgraph Association partners with QFC to launch a $50 million digital assets venture studio in Qatar. Um, the Hashgraph Association, which is the obviously the association behind HBAR, uh, is, uh, announced the signing of a strategic partnership with the Qatar Financial Center to launch a digital assets venture studio, a platform to support local Qatari and international portfolio companies in the development of regulatory compliant DeFi solutions and digital assets built on the Hedera Distributed Ledger Technology Network, so the DLT. The $50 million digital asset venture studio will focus on investments in Hedera-powered Web3 startups and enterprise uh, enterprises building bankable DeFi solutions. The program will span over the next five years with the Hashgraph Association contributing 20% of that, which is roughly $10 million. The Hashgraph Association will launch a custom designed digital assets venture studio to enable local Qatari companies, as well as international portfolio companies to build innovative regulatory compliant, structured financial products and secure digital asset solutions, which will include tokenization of real world financial assets. So RWAs is a pretty big narrative for this cycle. We saw what the news of just one project on Hedera that took a BlackRock fund, brought it onto the Hedera network and tokenized it. Although BlackRock had nothing to do with it. We saw how investors and speculators in the community reacted. The price just completely shot up, although it has a trace in the meantime. But I've said in the video I made back then when the news came out that this is a test run a trial run for Hedera for companies like BlackRock and all these banks and large institutions that are looking to bring their assets and tokenize things on chain right the real world asset tokenization it is a time for them to be able to showcase why Hedera and the network is so unique what makes it better what makes it fast cheap accessible regulatory compliant uh, and who knows what can come out of it after the fact if it's successful can we see an actual partnership with BlackRock an actual partnership with some of these big banks that remains to be seen. You also have this, the Hashgraph Association and Seal SQ build the future of decentralized physical infrastructure network. So DPIN, which is another big narrative that people are talking about this cycle on the Hedera DLT network. Uh, Seals Q, which is a uh, leader in semiconductor PKI and post quantum technology development, 
today announced that in partnership with the Hashgraph Association have launched a new digital asset built on the Hedera network that caters to the deep pin sector by enabling billions of internet connected devices to autonomously engage in seamless data and currency exchanges. Sealcoin is a hybrid payment and utility token for enabling billions of internet connected devices to autonomously engage in seamless data and digital asset exchanges. The list of applications goes on to include supply chain management, autonomous vehicles, smart cities, energy trading, and more. And so the growth and what they're doing is looking pretty good. We take a look at, um, speaking of growth, Hedera's growth. So Hedera approves $408 million of HBAR tokens for ecosystem growth for further development and advanced decentralized governance. The funds are part of Hedera's goal to strengthen its base following its 2023 performance with over 33 billion real world transactions on the network. So Hedera is growing and a lot of that has to do with DeFi. We take a look at Hedera's DeFi here. We did top out at around $155 million. This was back in towards the end of February of this year. We are trending up, consistently making higher lows uh, and looking to make higher highs. And the leader of this DeFi movement is none other than Saucer Swap, which has been an absolute hit. So shout out to the Saucer Swap, Saucer Swap team. So this is a uh, post from Masari on X. DeFi ecosystem is off to a big start in 2024. This success is primarily attributed to the launch of Swasser's, Saucer Swap B2, which introduced concentrated liquidity, important tokenomic changes, and more. You can see here uh, Saucer Swap's increased share of TVL to over 98%. Now, some may point to this and say, well, that's not a good thing. My thing is, you got one protocol that is absolutely putting this token on the map. You take a look at some like Jupiter, although Solana is a little farther ahead as far as um, adoption, people using it as far as, you know, creating tokens, smart contracts, uh, DeFi volume, right, TVL. Um, just takes one to kickstart it. And then you next thing you know, you see a bunch of tokens and projects start to build on Hedera. Things pile in, TVL skyrockets to over a billion dollars. And we'll be making a video six months from now talking about how did Hedera go from 100 million to a billion dollars in TVL? Speaking of TVL, so this is from CryptoNewsFlash.com. Hedera's DeFi deep dive. TVL shows impressive 146% year-to-date growth. USDC integration flourishes. Is HBAR getting ready for fresh all-time highs? Uh, Hedera has made major moves. Uh, DeFi has more than doubled. And stablecoin in integration is thriving. Setting the native HBAR token for a monster year. We'll get into the price prediction in a little bit here, but I do want to talk about uh, other things that are growing. You talk about account creation, right? Are people getting onboarded onto the network? You can see here from Cryptopolitan.com, Hedera new account creation booms, token gets boosted. The Hedera network is growing its transaction count and active addresses. The growth is long-term and mostly driven again by DeFi. And I'm going to go to this tweet here from Tata. Hedera account creation is popping off over 83,000 new accounts created in 24 hours. Now, this was uh, back about 10 days ago on May 15th. So people are creating accounts. And also, what is the HBAR Foundation doing or the Hedera Foundation? We take a look at their 2024 strategy. Uh, they talk about the crypto economy. So enable the creation and movement of value on chain, fintech and payments improve efficient value exchange through tokenization consumer engagement enable high quality web3 experiences for brands and consumers which in this area they have a leg up on the rest um because of their uh because of their governing council and how much influence they have on what gets adopted and what drives the network forward we'll go over that here in a little bit as well and the sustainable impact bring the balance sheet of the planet to the public ledger this is all possible on Hedera because of the technology that they're built on, the Hashgraph technology. Uh, and so it's almost infinitely scalable, extremely fast, extremely cheap. Uh, and so, yeah. So that's your buy scenario. Well, what's the case to sell it? So competitors outperforming HBAR, right? You got the likes of Solana ranking higher in TVL, market cap users, accounts, and projects. You have projects like Near Protocol, right? The hot new layer one. Um, are last cycles layer ones in trouble we saw what happened in the previous cycle with projects like EOS. Polkadot kind of came back, but was stagnant as far as price appreciation. Then you had the likes of Cardano absolutely rallied. Solana absolutely rallied. Avalanche absolutely rallied. So is this cycle's 
layer ones, old layer ones, you got, you know, uh, polka dot, you got Algorand. Some people even throw Cardano in there. Well, H probably one of the layer ones that underperforms. That is part of the sell scenario. Also, if you really want to nitpick, you can go to um, metrica.com. Uh, .co, and you can see here, you can point to, hey, look, smart contracts, only 158 of them, 28 created over the last, I think, 24 or over the last seven days. Uh, NFT contracts, 176. So some people might point to say, hey, look, uh, only, uh, only 158 smart contracts, that's not enough. So that's your sell case. So what am I doing, right? I, at this point right now, I am a buyer of Hedera. And I'll show you exactly why. On top of everything I made my case for in the bull scenario, we take a look. We go back to this uh, Bitcoin H bar chart, right? So I zoomed out here on the daily, and you can see here a few times where we have bottomed out H uh, bar's price is bottomed out against Bitcoin. Once this was back in January of 2020, where we saw Hedera bottom out around the same levels we are at today, and had a subsequent rally of around 620% against Bitcoin. Then we had a big spill off for a few, uh, for a couple years. And again, bottomed out around the same level and had another massive rally of around 800% against Bitcoin. Where are we now? Uh, we're essentially at the bottom of the bottom. We did see this minor spike here on H bar versus Bitcoin. And again, this was on the news of the tokenized BlackRock fund. But since then, the uh, price has retraced against BTC. But every time we've hit this level here, right? This level, and I'll mark this level with a horizontal line. Every time we've hit this level, let's go back to, let's go back to right here, right? We hit this level. This was back in July of last year. We saw Hedera rally against Bitcoin around 70%. We saw another touch here, and we saw Hedera rally 30% against BTC. The last one here was on December in uh, 2023. Hedera rallied 50% against Bitcoin. Another example here. Another example here. So can we see a similar rally for Hedera against Bitcoin yet again? If we throw on our Lux Algo price action concepts, you can see here the price is currently filling a fair value gap. And the last time price reacted positively against BTC. Can we get deeper in there into the discount zone? Uh, if we do, great. I'm a buyer there as well. Uh, but HBAR, unless you think the project is absolutely dead, which I doubt any of you watching believe so, this thing is going to bounce back just like Ethereum did for BTC. A lot of people were saying Ethereum is dead. Ethereum is dead. It's bleeding against Bitcoin. Well, guess what? It just flipped a trend line and it's looking to explode, especially off the ETF news. And also you can speculate. Can Hedera get an ETF? I mean, when your governing council looks like this, T-Mobile, WorldPay, Ubisoft, LG, IBM, Google, Dell, uh, you got BitGo, you have Boeing in there. Can these companies have any sway or push for a Hedera ETF? Now, of course, that won't happen overnight. Still needs to get listed on a futures exchange on like the CME or the CBOE. But still, you can people speculate and people try to front run those speculations. The other thing here is that I'm excited about is the council overview here, Drive the Future, uh, what the council does, so oversee the direction and code base of the network to represent your industry and ensure your organization's requirements are heard. Manage the network's treasury to foster growth and development of the network. So these companies with large market caps, large resources, do have a say in the future of Hedera and what gets built out. So that is exciting. Uh, and of course, it gives them a massive edge over competitors as more institutions make the leap into Web3. Uh, people go with what they know, with what they're comfortable with. And so if you got the likes of, again, all these companies I mentioned, should make it a lot easier uh, for people to onboard onto Hedera. So we take a look at the price action again here on Hedera. So a couple of things Hedera's got going for it. One is the RWA narrative. Uh, you have Hedera. Of course, we talked about the BlackRock, real to the tokenization of real world assets. Will more companies do that or will Hedera and the projects built on it just do what they did with BlackRock and just tokenize it themselves. Um, now, as far as my price prediction, so Hedera's current dominance over the complete market is around 0.15%, right? So if RWA happens on Hedera, if they can onboard the next billion users, uh, maybe there's speculation about an ETF, uh, right? You talk about supply chain management, you talk about the IoT, everything Hedera is looking to do 
overseas here in the U.S. The team is amazing. Saucer swap. Could it bring more DeFi in? Will DeFi explode? All of that. Let's say the dominance of Hedera grows to 1%. And if we take a look at, let's, you know, what do we think the crypto market in its entirety is going to get to in this cycle? Six to $10 trillion with the inflow of money coming in from institutions and enterprises via ETFs from Bitcoin, from Ethereum. You better believe some of those profits are going to roll into the rest of the crypto economy. So at a $6 trillion market cap, which was only about a 2x from the last cycle high, um, you're looking at a market cap for Hedera of around $60 billion if we get to 1% dominance, which would bring us to a price for, for one HBAR token at $1.67. Um, is that too far out? I'm curious to know what you think in the chat in the comment section. Let us know. Drop us a comment. Also, if you like the video, make sure to like it and come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.